one around the line. Thank you very much. Yes? Senator Goldwater on 9-0. Right, just a minute. Let me see if I've got the statement. Thank you, sir. One moment, Senator. make a statement uh, in a little bit, uh, and I wanted to talk to you before I did. Uh, I don't know just what time it'll be, but it'll probably be uh, when we're sure that their radar screen has picked up uh, our, our plane. Uh, as President and Commander-in-Chief, it's my duty to the American people to report that renewed hostile actions against U.S. ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have all have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. The initial attack on the destroyer Maddox on August 2nd was repeated today by a number of hostile vessels attacking two U.S. destroyers with torpedoes. The destroyers and the supporting aircraft acted at once on the orders given by me after the initial act of aggression. We believe at least two of the attacking boats were sunk. There were no U.S. losses. The performance of commanders and crews in this engagement is the highest tradition of the United States Navy. But repeated acts of violence against the armed forces of the United States must be met not only with alert defense, but with positive reply. The reply is being given. In the large sense, this new act of aggression aimed directly at our own forces must bring home to all of us again the importance to us in the United States of the struggle for peace and security in Southeast Asia. Now, when I say the reply is being given, Barry, I may elaborate on that a little bit depending on how safe I can be at the time I deliver the statement. Do you follow me? Yeah. Aggression by terror against the peaceful villagers of South Vietnam has now been joined by open aggression on the high seas against the United States of America. The determination of all Americans to carry out our full commitment to the people and government of South Vietnam will be redoubled by this outrage. Yet our response to the present will be limited and fitting. We Americans know, although others appear to forget, the risk of spreading conflict. We still seek no wider war. I have instructed the Secretary of State to make this position totally clear to friends, to adversaries, and indeed to all. I have instructed Ambassador Stevenson to raise this matter immediately and urgently before the Security Council of the United Nations. Finally, I have today met with the leaders of both parties in the Congress of the United States, and I have informed them that I shall immediately request the Congress to pass a resolution making it clear that our government is united in its determination to take all necessary measures in support of freedom and in defense of peace in Southeast Asia. I have been give, given encouraging assurance by these leaders that such a resolution will be promptly introduced, freely and expeditiously debated, and passed, I hope, with overwhelming support. I, it is a solemn responsibility to have to order even limited military action by forces whose overall strength is as vast and as awesome as those of the United States of America. But it is my considered conviction, shared throughout your government, that firmness in the right is indispensable to today for peace. That firmness will always be measured. Its mission is peace. That's it. Well, we are uh, just very confidentially, uh, 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 we are going to uh, uh, take all the boats out that we can and all the bases in which they come. Well, 
Thank you, and I, I wanted you to know about it, and we had a good meeting here, and I didn't want to say anything until I was able to reach you. Well, that's all right, and uh, like always, Americans will sit together. Thank you, Barry. Okay. Bye, fella.